That was a hell of a game of rugby. Um, I think two teams with a real endeavour. Uh, you've got to give Pirates credit for getting themselves in a position to win that game, which they, which they eventually have. But it comes down to sort of those two or three crucial moments. Uh, if we get those right, we take that away from them. And uh, we've got to learn, if we want to be next level, we've got to get those moments right. So, um, hey, uh, definitely not knocking the effort and the desire from our team, uh, just probably those unforced errors at crucial times. Tommy White does well to get back there. As Elliot, and they shift it on. Cut more. Montgomery a bit isolated there. The ball gets knocked in behind Carwin Penny. And it pitches up and Jersey's Reds are going to score in the corner. Look, the first half, the game just went away from us and uh, all credit to Jersey. They took advantage of what I thought was some average gameplay through our kicking or our defence. And for a moment, I thought, mm, do you know what? This might not be our day. And he shifts it to Dan Barnes, who's in. Good take behind him there. Pirates again conceding a... But as we typically do, at some point in the game, we whack the arm break on and we get back into the fight. There was a couple of key moments where Jersey could have scored another one, perhaps but they didn't and we managed to recover and I think that's what kept us in the game and then in the end, I think some of the uh, field position and pressure from them all told, you know, so for us, a gritty performance but not a polish by any stretch of the imagination. Cutmore rises high, taps it down to Schwartz and Robson D. Batista with Duncan and he's knocked it on again, we saw Van Breda fly out the line. Not going to vanish. And that possible space and Duncan, Oliver Feller straightens well. No. Again, another unforced error from the Cornish Pirates, a knock-on. Flynn throws a loose the pass. <laughs> but Brendan Owen skips through easily, and he's got James Elliott in support. He must have been happy with the start, controlled possession, controlled the territory as well. I didn't really let them get into the game in that first half. Yeah, I think um, I think control was probably, that's a key word in the in the game today. Um, and how in that second half we couldn't, uh, we couldn't get get out you know get possession and and maintain any pressure with, with territory but again at the same time we, we we our transition from kick return was pretty good today we just needed to take it over the line and that time is fine the mall and then cook claims it and jersey set them all there was that 10 minute spell at the end of the first half three line outs just couldn't quite convert then they managed to defend how crucial was that? Was that talked about at half-time? Uh, no, we didn't look back, we looked forward. We looked to, to what we needed to bring to the second half, to be honest with you. Uh, we couldn't control what happened there. We probably felt a few things didn't go our way. Um, but ultimately, we, we did come away with three points, which was important, but we, we probably, probably had earned a little bit more. That was the most crucial part of the game. I, I, I believe if we'd not been able to hold out at that moment, it, the gap would have been too big. We'd have ended up having to chase the game, which would have changed our tactics. You could see in the second half our kick game start to function. But if you're three tries down, you're more likely to play, you're more likely to error. So that key moment allowed us to go back to our base game and go, right, OK, we're 10 points. Don't worry, we're at home. We'll build the pressure. So it, I think it was the, the, the most critical point in the game. Some of the, the basics of our game, so the core fundamentals of our game, you see the, with a box exit getting in the air, creating the, the turnover, holding the ball for long periods of time. We're able to get a lot of that going in the second half, and in the first half, it was almost non-existent. That said, I think Jersey will go away from this game and think, mm, we could have won this, we maybe should have won this. Uh, and for us, the flip reverse is we stayed in the fight, we showed good character, and when it counted, we converted. Listen, I, I think that was a fantastic performance from their team through the second half. The resilience this group shows um, through the injuries, uh, through the, the COVID disruption, everything this week, for them to come together like that and keep playing for the 80 plus minutes down here with a pretty hostile crowd, I'm pretty, pretty chuffed with those guys. And uh, you know, we've got, a, we've got a slight pause and a break before we look ahead to Nottingham and Coventry.